now we have the Chalani wire in there. It's actually installed in the reactor. We have run our first calibration test in helium now. How do we calibrate? We start by upping the power into the cell in 16 steps over the full range of the power supply. At each power level, we wait 45 minutes to let the temperature settle and then take a sample. Now we have an idea how, of how each point changes with the power level. At the conditions we plan to run the experiment at, we did three calibration runs and calculated the 95% confidence interval. If the Chalani wire is generating heat beyond the electricity heating it, we will see a higher temperature. The observed temperature will have to exceed that upper confidence limit to be at all considered excess heat. If we see 10 watts of excess energy, it will look like a temperature almost 20 degrees higher, kind of up here. In order to do this, calculating automatically in, in the instrumentation software, we turned it around to plot the power in as a function of temperature. Then we fit an equation to model that curve. That equation is what the computer uses to calculate power out. Then we subtract the power in from the power out to get an indication of the excess power generated by the Chalani wire. This simple calculation can easily be misleading though. Anytime the input power changes, it takes a while for the temperature in the cell to adjust. Until it settles into equilibrium again, the excess power calculation is wrong. And at the moment we are seeing higher temperatures achieved by the Chalani wire, even in helium. That means the correlation developed with the other wires may need some adjusting to be valid, or maybe the wire's already generating a small amount of heat. Uh, what we're looking for is we characterize the temperatures that the cell gets to based on the amount of power and the different kinds of gases at different pressures. And we have this nice graph that we can uh, uh, compare to. So we should be ready in the next coming days to probably within 24 hours to start loading in hydrogen, getting the hydrogen into the wire. We're going to try to stick specifically to where we have calibration curves and see if we get a significantly higher temperature.